Good, good. Now, I want you to zoom in. See the two seats that are underneath the word fatal? I want you to zoom in on those two seats. Recently, a class from Southview Middle School paid a visit to Faye TV and tried their hands at television broadcasting. Whether standing in front of a green screen giving a weather report or working on the camera, the students got a taste of what it was like to work in a television studio. I, I remember all the controls. So there was four lights, and it was one, two, three, four. Uh -huh. And each one represented a camera, and whichever button was lit was the one you were controlling. And then you had the four screens in front of you that were the cameras. And so, and then this one right here was zoom. Like if you went like that, you'd zoom. And then this one was to move the camera around and see that they're moving right now. <laughs> and then and then at the top of this one, you controlled the iris. Mm -hmm. So it would get, uh, you, could, you could make the tone deep, or you could make it like really light. Nice. And then and for this one, it was the it was the focus. So like, if you you had to pinch it and turn it, and right. it would focus. And then, uh, all right. You I remember all of that in that sort of time? Yeah. Wow. And then and then the previous the one that you um you can control you you can't change the program. Which I think you can. no you can't you can't change the program. You can change the previous. Yeah, so now you want to explore it some more. I want to go back in there. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. The students were visiting as part of Cumberland County Schools Students at Work Week a program exposing students to the different careers available to them. It's so very vital. We're finding that students, they're, they're, they only know what they're exposed to. So it's so important for us to get them out and about and for them to see and experience careers that they didn't know anything about or many times never even imagined um, that they could unlock um, a fire, a passion, um, exploring careers they didn't know anything about. The Students at Work Week is just one programs that the City of Fable is involved in to help improve the future options for local students of all ages. And we, we're doing a lot of great things here. Uh, from our shadowing program where we work with Cumberland County Schools and bring in youth uh, that are in middle school, sometimes a little bit older, to shadow folks in our various departments really gives them an idea of the types of jobs out there. Often young people don't think about government as a career and this is an opportunity to expose them to government opportunities. The other thing I would say too is we have a program called STEM uh, and we work again, it's a partnership with Cumberland County Schools, with PwC and the private sector and what we are trying to do here is give young people, typically rising seniors in the high schools, in Cumberland County an opportunity for a six-week internship in one of the city departments, a PwC department, and uh, a private sector organization. Last year we had 15 kids. This year we have great support from our city council as well as Public Works supported the effort and we're going to be bringing on 30 kids. Um, and then just another example I wanted to share too is that we also have a memorandum of understanding with Methodist University and with FSU where we're bringing on young people for uh, typically three month internships. They will work out of the city manager's office but on special projects that have an impact in our community. And a big part of that is really the networking within the organization and then we end up with them presenting uh, their project to the executive team. Another partnership between the city and the VA is designed to help local veterans find work and experience. Well actually um, because I couldn't find a job I was having a hard time because like I said I didn't have experience. I went into the um, voc vocational rehabilitation program, the Voc Rehab, um, through the veterans affairs and then so um, they actually got me this internship here with the city. Despite serving proudly in the Army and earning a bachelor's degree to work as an analyst, she was still having a hard time finding work. Like the old saying goes, there's always a catch-22. Because I've been trying to find a job since I graduated in 2015 and again, everybody wants me but I have no experience and then I can't get any experience because nobody wants me. So. It's really the only program of its kind in, in the state of North Carolina and there are very few of these programs in the country with local government but it's an opportunity for us to work with some of our disabled veterans, veterans that are transitioning out of the military and uh, we're under no obligation the city to hire these veterans permanently however uh, most of them will work six months to 12 months uh, they are paid by the federal government and they get we're not talking about any job we want to make sure they're getting meaningful work an added benefit of all the different partnerships and educational programs is to lay the foundation that will help prevent the problem of brain drain 
that other communities and our own face. My gosh, it's incredibly important. Uh, one of the biggest challenges I think we have in this community is we have a lot of talented young people, but after they get either graduate high school and decide to go off into a career or they finish uh, get a university degree, oftentimes they leave the community. We need to have things in this community that will keep them here so that we can retain the best and the brightest. Whether it's a middle schooler, a seasoned veteran, or somewhere in between, there's much to be learned and gained. My favorite part of the day personally was meeting basically, I can't really remember all the names, but I met a lot of people today. And to basically to see how many, because sometimes you might just get the image of it takes one person, but in all actuality, it takes a full group of people you know, to depend on somebody. So you have to work together. So teamwork is very essential. So the fact that it kind of just goes back to you networking with people and stuff like that because you can't do it by yourself. It's, it's a lot of stuff. Like how I said, she makes the maps and stuff like that, but then she needs somebody to collect the data. Sometimes she can do it herself, but at other times, some people go out and, and do it for her and they give her the data and then in that way she can make the maps or whatever she needs to do. So uh, my favorite part of the day was just seeing how everybody just comes together and work on one project or whatever. Anytime you see a student's the light come on where they go, wow, I didn't know about this, that's very exciting. When they, they think, um, I had a student um, that was interested in a nursing career and she was very excited and she got the opportunity to, um, to find out about um, music therapy an area that she had never thought about and she was so excited because that combined her two favorite things nursing and helping people but tying in that music component so it's very rewarding to work with students also when they find out that something is not what they thought it was and they go oh that's that's definitely not what I want to do I thought it was going to be something else or I thought I was more suitable for that so it's just exciting like I said when the light comes on and they go I'm, I love this this is not what I thought um, but this is what I'm going to look into now. So it's opening doors and that's exciting to be a part of.